What's happening team? Welcome back to Mississippi Dashing. I got a surprise for you guys today. I have been on the waiting list for quite a while for a second app. And that app in my area is Spark. So today's goal is going to be to do a small shift of Spark. I'm thinking like an hour or two. Never done it before. Um, I don't know really much about it. I've tried not to watch a bunch of videos to just sort of take it by chance. I opened up the app today and it showed like they have some incentives. So this must be for just beginning the app, like just to sort of like rev you up. You know, DoorDash does that too. It's like when you first start, they give you a bunch of good orders, then they give you a bunch of shite orders. Well, Walmart does the same thing. So I think we're gonna try to put in at least three orders within maybe a two hour shift and that should give us an extra like $25. Now, Walmart does not pay out like right after your shift like DoorDash does. They do have a third party app, I think it's called Branch that they go through, but uh, I don't know how it works. So let's go grab a Chick, like Chick-fil-A biscuit. That sounds really good. And after our biscuit, we'll open up the Spark app and give it a shot. Let's go. I can't believe I did that. I got myself all hyped up about a Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit and it's Sunday. Does anybody else do that? I do that once, like every now and again. They're not open on Sundays. Oh my gosh. All right, well, as I said, no chicken biscuit from Chick-fil-A. So we had to go with the healthier option and your boy gets hungry. So I went with the two best healthy options I had, which were Monster and Snickers, only the best. Okay, so after the gas station, I drove over to my local Walmart. I live like two minutes from a Walmart. So that makes this really easy location wise. I think what I'm gonna do is park it in the parking lot, open the app, sort of study it for a minute. Um, I'm gonna set it for two hours. Currently, it is a little past 11, probably almost noon, you know, somewhere in there. And uh, I'll set it for two hours, try to get three orders done, and we'll see how much money we make, all right? Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I opened the app and I set the time for one o'clock. And it said I had one order that I could do. It's basically two orders, so it's like a batch order but it's for 2261 going nine miles. I'm gonna take that. Okay, so that's interesting. So I just like, I've tried to get the order as in like pick up the order. So you, you select pickup and then it says that my pickup time is like 1145. That's when I'm supposed to, I guess, be there. It's 1128 right now. So I prompt to start the order, I guess. And Walmart says, oh no, a little too early. So uh, you'll have to wait. So maybe I'm thinking this is when, you know, say like doing DoorDash at the same time might be a good idea. Yeah, this is gonna open up some doorways as far as like multi-apping goes. Um, Cause I'm still actually trying to get in with uh, the Amazon one. What is that, Uber Eats? But if I'm picking orders that have like a long wait time and ones that you can pick up way later, I might as well go ahead and try to open up another app and try to do an order while doing that. You know, the pause method, I think is what it's called. Yeah, so basically we're gonna sit here till about 11.45 since it's 11.30 right now. And then we're gonna go over and get the curbside pickup. Good old curbside. Okay, so a bit confusing, but you know, I've done some of these before, but it was with DoorDash back when they were doing deliveries with Walmart. So they come out, they've got labels on the back. Turn left toward Highway 45 North, then turn right after Arby's. The girl brought the bags out and the labels did not scan. So I had to wait for a good like 10, 12 minutes before they came out with the right labels. But that's okay. We're on our way to our first order. If I can get this done before one o'clock, I'll feel pretty good about it. Not too bad, man. So I know I got to scan more labels when I get to this house. It's a contactless delivery. So I'm assuming I'm going to get there and I'm just going to drop everything off. But uh, I know I got to walk through the app too. I'll explain it once I get there. We'll see. All right, so this is a batched order. So I'm taking my second order right now. That first one was pretty easy, man. Um, they just want you to take a, a photo of the same label again, also of the front door, same like DoorDash, and then you just drop it off. So let's get to our second location and then we'll look at our earnings. We made that first delivery, not too bad. We started at 11.45 for the pickup and we finished at 12.33 with a balance of 2260, something like that. I'll put a snapshot of whatever it was up there. That's not bad, man. 45 minutes for like, I mean, I guess we could say a little over $20, not too bad. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this or not. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to my area, maybe pick up another order or so. We'll see, I'll see what's available. And then, uh, yeah, I will definitely keep going with Spark. I like it, it's, it's seamless. 
the app explains everything to you. It's very simple to do. Um, if you can scan labels, pick up and drop off, it's just as easy as DoorDash or any of the others. Yeah, I like it. Let's keep doing it. So I drove all the way back to my Walmart here in Columbus, and now we're getting ready to go inside. I've, I've slid the uh, notification to confirm my arrival, and we're gonna get a cart and go on in and start looking for all these items. Okay, so I just got out of Walmart. That wasn't that bad. Now that is something that uh, DoorDash does not do in their app. Walmart Spark, when it shows you an item, it gives you the aisle and the section that it's in in that aisle. Now being that Walmart is such a big company, I guess most of all of these stores, you know, have very large maps for where they keep their inventory. But that, I got to go from item to item to item. Now there was an item that I couldn't find. It was some Skittles. Um, but that was really easy. So the goal for me was to take this order and get out of there by like 1.45. So I, it is probably 10 minutes before 1.45 and I've got three miles to drive to get to the customer's house. So let me get this delivered and I'll give you guys what I've made in the last two orders in less than two hours. All right, got that one dropped off, easy peasy. Okay, so that order was 30 bucks. So that means I've done two orders. It, we just hit 12.45. Okay, so I know this is using Spark for a first shift, so they're probably just making it worth it, but let me tell you what we've done today. <laughs> just now, well, actually it's still not even 1.45. I started at 11.45. First order was $22. The second order was $30 and uh, combined they equaled actually something like 53 to $54 and so I've made $54 we'll say 53 in less than two hours so that means that I'm making a little over say 26 an hour not bad and I'm be honest I'm gonna drive back right now and I'm gonna try to get a third order because as you start using spark uh, they have incentives for you during your first like number of orders. So I'm gonna try to do three to get an extra 20 or $25 today. So my hope is that I'll have, you know, $100 earned before three o'clock. There we go. All right, so I had to stop at the house to grab uh, a drink real fast because, oh, and a bathroom break because we've been in the car for like two hours. <laughs> Let's get back on the road. We'll head back over to Walmart. Try to get one more order for the day and that'll hit our first goal for the incentive bonus that comes with it. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Okay, so I made my way back over to the Walmart parking lot. I am fairly sure that now we've gotten into the real stuff. So there are orders on here, like every one of them is for 30, $40, but they're going 30 or 40 miles and it's like nine or 10 orders. So the question is, do I deliver those or do I not? And to be honest, I'm not gonna take them unless they make sense curbside pickup it's like eight orders um it's like 30 something miles but it's 30 dollars. so i think and it says it's going to take about an hour to deliver all of these that's questionable but you know what we're doing this for science baby and another 30 dollars would put me at uh 80 bucks before say uh before three o'clock and on top of that, I'll get a $25 bonus. So it'll be like over a hundred bucks. So let's see what happens. Let's go to the curbside pickup and we're gonna deliver like eight orders. All right, here we go. All right, so we're waiting for all these orders now. It's 1.59. If we can get all of these orders done by three o'clock, I will have legitimately made $30 an hour. That's pretty cool. And that's really tough to do in a small market. All right, let's do this. All right, 2.15. So we want to get these orders done by three o'clock. So that gives me 45 minutes to do eight orders. Here we go. <laughs> all right, delivery number one, done. Pretty simple, man. They just give you all those labels on the bags. You just, again, scan them and drop them off. Headed to the second one now. Let's go get it. All right, second order was a drop off to an apartment. Now we're moving on to order number three. Let's do it. Got the third delivery done to a house. Met Terry, nice guy. Hello, Terry. Headed to the fourth order now. It's a little past 2.30. Let's do it. All right, got this one delivered. Let's jump on to the fifth one. Here we go. On to order number six, let's go. Order number seven, here we go. All right, that order was actually two orders to the same location. Order number eight, here we go. 
decided to stop for gas because I'm quite literally gonna run out. <laughs> All right, team, so we finished that eighth delivery and it is 3.30 right now. Now, I wanna put this in perspective. I started this at 11.45 this morning and we've been doing Spark the whole time. No DoorDash whatsoever. I did get today a $25 bonus if I finished three orders. So, and that doesn't count like batch stuff. They, they count all of the batch deliveries as one order. So I've been going since 11.45, it is 3.30. So that is a little less than uh, four hours. So that's like three and a half hours, right? Maybe three hours and 45 minutes. So in that time, I made, let's see, three orders, 30, 60, I made, let me get the calculator out. I made $109.14 in three hours and 45 minutes. And for your information, that's $29.10 an hour with Walmart Spark. Changing the game. Now, today we did more than just one kind of order. We did a shop now, we did a curbside pickup, and we did a batched order. So we got really like all three of the experiences you can have with Walmart in a single day. Now being in a small market like I am here in Columbus, Mississippi, if you were to DoorDash all day long, you'd have to start at like seven in the morning and finish at 10 o'clock at night to get $120. Like that's just the way my market is. Here I go introducing a new app. You know, I was on the waiting list for like two months with um, Walmart Spark and we finished at over $100 in a little over three hours. That just blows my mind. But now I've still got three or four hours until my wife is off at of work. I could push this and keep going. If I kept going with Spark, I would assume that if I did two, three more hours, I'd make another hundred dollars. Or I'd go real easy and I'd open up, you know, DoorDash and make some money on the side too. I mean, the options are endless with this gig work if you add the apps. Here's one of the drawbacks. One, you're gonna drive more miles with Walmart Spark. That's for sure. You're definitely gonna drive more miles. But then you also don't get to see that money until like what, every Tuesday? From what I've been told, Spark pays every Tuesday and I've been having troubles with the branch app. So I don't even know when I'm gonna get this $100 that I earned today. I guess we'll find out later. As an experiment goes, because we did this for science, I think that this was worth it, you know? Driving a second app, at least I know there's another way out there I can make money. And remember, I'm always trying to tell you, don't put all your eggs in the same basket. But hell yeah, we'll take this one as a win. We finished with over $100. We've still got DoorDash in our back pocket, so if we wanted to see some cash today and needed a little extra, we could keep going with DoorDash. That's what I'm talking about. So if you've lived near like a Walmart and you need some extra money in your pocket, definitely go down, like download the Spark app because I think it's worth it. Once I finish five orders, I think I'll be able to put a uh, like a referral link in the description. So if you watch this and you want to be a part of the Spark program, I suggest you go down there. And when I finish five it'll be in the description. If it's not there now, it's because I hadn't finished five orders. But get a chance, go down there and do that referral link so that I can make some money too. Well, now I'm headed home, so I'm done for the day. I don't want to drive anymore. I'm finished. Three and a half hours, $100, $110. Yeah, I'm going to go home. See you in the next one.